Welcome to Eta Nagar on this episode of the Road Stop on NewsX. We are in the capital city of Arunachal Pradesh and I'm currently standing at the Gompa Buddhist Temple, one of the most iconic tourist locations in the city. Arunachal Pradesh, land of the rising sun and dawnlit mountains. It is the largest state in northeast India. Sharing borders with Assam and Nagaland in the south, with Myanmar in the east, Bhutan in the west, and over a 1,000 km border with China in the north. With a population of over 13,80,000 people recorded in 2011, Arunachal Pradesh is predominantly tribal. The state has 26 tribes with over 100 sub-tribes. The Naishi are the largest ethnic group in the state. Besides a tribal identity, the people of Arunachal Pradesh can be divided on the basis of religion. 30% people are Christian, 29% are Hindus, 11% are Buddhist, and the remaining 30% are Muslims, Sikhs and Jains. Almost 23% of the population of Arunachal is urban, while the vast majority of 77% are rural. 2019 saw a voter turnout of 82.1% with 6,52,091 voters casting their vote. The Gompa Buddhist Temple is situated on a hilltop giving 360-degree panoramic views of the entire capital city of Itanagar, which forms a significant part of the Arunachal West constituency. This is one of the two Lok Sabha constituencies of Arunachal Pradesh, which will go to polls on the 19th of April, along with 50 out of its 60 assembly seats. In the first ever assembly elections held in Arunachal Pradesh in 1978, it was the BJP's predecessor, the Janata Party, which emerged victorious. But since the 1980s, power has tossed between the Congress and regional players, with the Congress dominating the elections. In the last decade since 2014, the BJP has made inroads in both the Lok Sabha and assembly elections. A key face for the party is Kiran Rijiju, the sitting MP from Arunachal West constituency, who secured a thumping majority in both 2014 and 2019. I'm here today in the Ganga Nagar area of Ita Nagar, which is named after the famous Ganga Lake of Arunachal Pradesh. Uh, it's a famous tourist spot and it's a key biodiversity hotspot for the capital city of Itanagar. We are here today to cover the campaign trail of BJP candidate and Union Minister Shri Kiran Rijiju in his home state, in his hometown of Arunachal Pradesh. Born in Arunachal West's Kaming district on 19th November 1971, Rijiju is currently serving as Union Minister of Earth Sciences and Food Processing. He was born to Rinchin Kharu and Chira Rijiju. His father Rinchin served as the first pro tem speaker of Arunachal Pradesh. Rijiju graduated from Hansraj College in Delhi University and then pursued law at Delhi Law Fac in 1998. He married Joram Rina Rijiju in 2004. Their family is complete with three children. The minister begins his day with a briefing from BJP Karakartas on the ground strategy that has been developed. While Kiran Rijiju broke the Congress's winning streak in Arunachal West in 2004, he also suffered a defeat by the Grand Old Party in 2009. Five years later, when Narendra Modi was sworn in as Prime Minister of India, Kiran Rijiju made his comeback to the Lok Sabha from the Arunachal West constituency. He maintained his popularity amongst the voters in 2019. Ten years later, he is now seeking his fourth term as Member of Parliament from his home state. His main rival is Congress candidate and two-time Chief Minister Nabun Tuki. It's one son of the soil against the other. Joining me is Mr. Kiran Rijiju himself. Uh, we're standing in this beautiful balcony today with the views of Arunachal Pradesh, where Sir has grown up. So I want to begin by asking you, what was it like growing up in Arunachal Pradesh? Now, anybody will always say that Home is always sweet, your home state, your village will always be your um, lifetime favorite because 
you grow up here and then you do your uh, basic initial studies and then you start all uh, initial activities in your home areas. And these are natural things for everybody. So I am serving Arunachal right now where I grew up. And how do you think Arunachal Pradesh has changed say in the past decade or so from the time when you grew up? No, there is a tremendous change in the way in which uh, the development has taken place. Uh, during last 60 years of Congress time, we were literally lagging behind in everything. The, the pace of development was, in fact, too slow to feel because the roads, uh, the basic uh, amenities like um, water supply, electricity, mobile telephone connectivity, these were totally um, unaware you know in our in the minds of the people that such things exist only after modi ji became prime minister our people started seeing national highways 4g network our people are witness to water supply at the doorstep means uh, water supply reaching each household uh, lpg cases are being reached out to every household then uh, some of the basic amenities are reaching out to the people. Now we have airport, we have railway connectivity, uh, all the border roads leading to the border points are being accomplished. And uh, many other welfare schemes are happening. Individual beneficiaries are getting the, the basic help from the government. So. There's a huge transformation in the, in the process of development in Arunachal Pradesh. So at the same time, what was the toughest part about growing up and something that you perhaps remembered and that's helped you chart out your own path and vision for the state once you became a political leader? Before I became member of parliament, we were not seen, we were not visible. Uh, people didn't know about Arunachal Pradesh. The issues were confined to our local people, outside world were totally oblivious of the problems and existence of Arunachal Pradesh. When I started raising the issues in the parliament, I used to be very vocal in the parliament. So uh, people started knowing about Arunachal Pradesh and its issues. And when I became minister under Modiji's government, the real uh, hard developmental activities, especially hard infrastructure, as I told you, the roads, the bridges, uh, uh, the electricity, water supply, all this started, you know, reaching out to the households, even in the remotest of the villages. So that is how, in the last 10 years under Modiji's regime, the transformation has taken place. Before Modiji, there was a period during Atalji's time, some villages were connected under PMGSY. Besides that, the Congress regime has no contribution in the growth of Arunachal Pradesh. As the minister prepares for the next phase of his campaign, NewsX hit the ground to speak to the people. Administration of one of the most remote states of India is not an easy task. Development of Arunachal Pradesh will require the delivery of key infrastructure like roads, highways, airports, railways, along with stable power supply and of course water supply. The government now says that water delivery and water supply to every household is sorted. Electricity also seems more or less stable across the state. In fact, everywhere you look, there is construction activity going on in Arunachal Pradesh. However, it's the delivery of better roads and better highways that is already paying visible dividends for the state of Arunachal in terms of attracting migrant labour to the state. People from across India are not just coming to Arunachal Pradesh for its scenic beauty and culture, but also for better economic prospects. I was working in Dubai. In 2008, we came to Arunachal Pradesh for a job. We worked in someone's clothes. So, Arunachal culture is very good and very friendly. We worked in that place. After that, I felt that we had to go to Arunachal Pradesh for business. तो मेरा भैया लोग पहले से यहाँ ही है और हम ये डिसाइड किया है अरुणाचल आके हम कुछ बिजनेस करेगा दुकान करेगा इसलिए हम आसाम से यहाँ लगता है बहुत बेहतर है अच्छा ही है और यह बहुत फ्रेंडली रहता है बिजनेस भी अच्छा है बात आदमी भी अच्छा है 
और बातचीत भी अच्छा है बिजनेस भी अच्छा चलता है कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं है इसलिए हमको वही वही डिसाइड किया इसमें हम बहुत खुश है कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं है पहले तो आया तो यहाँ काम उम किया अच्छा लगा तो यहाँ छोटा मोटा बिजनेस कर रहा है दाल रोटी चल रहा है और अच्छा चल रहा है यहाँ पे बहुत बिजनेस बढ़ रहा है तरक्की हो रही है आपकी अच्छा चल रहा है ठीक है काम अच्छा चल रहा है दुनिया में क्या है ये जो अरुणाचल से बिहार में आए काम करने के लिए आदमी लोग बिहार में कोई काम नहीं मिलता पब्लिक को इसलिए यहाँ पे आया काम करने के लिए काम ठीक है चल रहा है ये सब सब कुछ ठीक है so as you can see a lot has already been done for the state of arunachal pradesh to make it an attractive destination for doing your business but a lot more needs to be done still we've taken a moment to speak to mr kiran rijiju about his plans and visions for the state see i have a very clear goal india is emerging as a great nation but as modi ji has said until or unless the northeastern region is integrated into the whole growth of india the story will not be complete and arunachal has seen tremendous growth in last 10 years all the uh, basic infrastructure like uh, airports railway lines highways village roads water supply electricity all this has happened mostly in last 10 years in the past we used to have very meager kind of uh, developmental uh, help from the center but now the central role in transforming arunachal is massive and arunachal state government is also enhancing its capacity and resource mobilization so in the next 8 to 9 years time i could very well see that arunachal pradesh will have one of the highest per capita income in the country right now arunachal stands somewhere below 12 to 15 ranks hmm. in terms of gdp we are a large state but population is very less so the total output will never be huge as the bigger states but the gdp will be quite good so i can very well see that as modi ji has given so much of emphasis for the growth of northeastern region arunachal and sikkim these two states will have uh, i think the per capita wise highest income in the country so my immediate target is to ensure that arunachal becomes one of the finest destinations for people to come here for uh, for the purpose of business or as a, a tourist you should be uh, invited to arunachal because of the inherent strength that is what i want to create so do you feel that somewhere it was uh, arunachal sticky tricky terrain was just being used as an excuse and there was just a lack of political vision and will the natural whatever topography you see yes is god's creation it's a nature's creation so you can't cry on the difficulties of the terrain if there is a will you can always do things uh, congress government had a negative policy of not developing the border areas for the fear of chinese invasion and chinese overtaking our territory using our infrastructure that was the uh, congress belief Uh, modi ji changed uh, that very approach in 2014 so modi ji had started giving all the major uh, you know clearance for the construction of roads in the border areas and all the district headquarters are now connected with double lane roads and um, all the major uh, you know border points in the uh, indo china borders are well connected with the uh, roads and now we are thinking in terms of creating opportunities by uh, you know creating more uh, production units manufacturing centers you know uh, uh, giving uh, lots of impetus on the local handicraft handlooms food processing and other uh, materials which are uh, very uh, confined to arunachal pradesh okay. we can be a big exporter in many of the ethical you know horticulture and agriculture products so arunachal will become a very uh, dynamic state in the days to come at the same time sir you came to delhi to pursue your higher education maybe there was just a lack of education institutions at that point in time but do you feel that the youth of arunachal today will have different opportunities than you did as far as education is also concerned specifically higher education uh, now we have lots of colleges in arunachal pradesh our time we had just uh, 
three, four colleges in Arunachal. So we had to go to outside the state. But now we have medical college here, we have engineering college, Arunachal has now um, NIT, uh, we have uh, agriculture college, right. and then Arunachal also have non-national level film institute. So many things have come up in last 10 years. So now our youth will not require to struggle or uh, look for opportunities like we did in our time because there were no avenues those mm. days. So things have changed and I am leading from the front. And it's fortunate that Prime Minister Modiji has given me a position in the cabinet. This is the first time Arunachal Pradesh have a cabinet minister right. in the government. So these are big things for us. And I will assure you that what Modiji has visualized for Northeast and Arunachal Pradesh, I will ensure that these are implemented and realized. We will accomplish all the efforts, all the targets set by Modiji. And the aspiration of the people is rising day by day. So we have to create more opportunities for the youth. We can't just not only educate the uh, people, the youth, we'll have to give them opportunities. We have to create avenues. We have to generate employment. So these are so many things in my mind and we will do it. At the same time, sir, we've been hearing about uh, an Ames and Pasighat since 2019. Is there an update on that project? No, no, there are so many projects. You can, you can uh, talk about so many projects which are ongoing, whether it's a, a hydropower projects or manufacturing units, plantation projects. So many projects are going on. At the same time, sir, I want to uh, come back to politics because it's political season. Uh, do you think the Congress's promise now to hold a nationwide caste census will actually resonate with the people of India? No, the relevance of Congress is gone. They have destroyed Northeast. They made Northeast a breeding ground for militancy and all kind of uh, band culture and uh, all kind of uh, um, undesirable things uh, which we see in the Northeast. These are all the gift of the Congress party. Now the era of Congress is over. We can look back those uh, dark phases of Congress days. Now it's a prospect to look at the future and uh, the opportunities before us. Modiji and BJP, this is the future and we don't look beyond. Now in the assembly election, out of 60 seats, 10 seats are already uncontested. In my seat also Lok Sabha seat. People are going to uh, give a record margin of victory hmm. by exercising their adult franchise and we are very confident that we will get more support than the previous time. At the same time, Congress says that there is a need to redistribute the wealth of the nation. So they say no, that Congress, only one percent uh, has all the wealth and that they will bring in a progressive tax system. They are blaming your government for a total failure as far as wealth concentration is concerned. How does the BJP respond to that? I don't need to respond to Congress party. Congress wants to distribute poverty because they want to create poverty only. Why Congress has made India a poor country? Mm. 1947, all these Asian countries except Japan, China, Taiwan, South Korea, North Korea, Indonesia, Malaysia, Singapore, Thailand, all these countries along with India and the, all the countries of South Asia, we were at the equal footing when we got the independence. And from independence to the time Modi ji came, Congress party has made India a poor nation, the per capita of India, the GDP of India is lesser than many of the African countries. That is what Congress has made India into. How can we look back and trust Congress party? They made India a poor nation, but Modi ji is making India a prosperous nation. And we are going to become a fully developed nation by 2047. All the pointers of the economic structures are indicating clearly by 2027 or 28, within Modi ji's third term, we will be third largest economy in the world. And in next 25 years, we would be fully developed country. So these are things which are happening under Modi ji, hmm. who is so foolish enough to believe the Congress propaganda, tell me. 
they rendered India a helpless, a begging nation in 60 years. Okay. Can we believe them again? The next pit stop in the campaign trail is the Y International Hotel, where BJP President JP Nadda will release the party's manifesto. Even though the BJP candidate is confident of winning his fourth term from Arunachal Pradesh, the party is leaving no stone unturned to reach out to the people. As we wait for the arrival of Mr. J.P. Nadda to launch the party manifesto, we've in fact been informed that there are several social media influencers and content creators in the audience today who have been invited specifically by the BJP. It seems that this is the strategy that the BJP is employing to target the youth voter in Arunachal Pradesh. BJP! Jindabad! BJP! Jindabad! With an eye on both Lok Sabha and Assembly polls, BJP National President J.P. Nadda was welcomed to the state for the launch of the party's manifesto, promising greater connectivity and peace at all costs. Our next stop is the BJP's public rally. After a successful launch of the party manifesto in Itanagar, the BJP leadership has now made its way into a small town called Doimuk, which is about 40 minutes away from the main capital city. What they're hoping to do here is speak directly to the people of Arunachal Pradesh. The voters, it seems, have made it clear that they will not simply be wooed before the elections. If you're out of sight, you're out of mind here as well. And that's what the BJP is hoping to address with this large public gathering where under one roof thousands of people have gathered to listen in to what the BJP leadership has to say and what is it that they really have to offer to the voter of Arunachal Pradesh. Doimuk is very close to Itanagar, that is why and Itanagar is already uncontested and Doimuk is the closest constituency where our candidate uh, Tanahali is fighting. So JP Nadaji after releasing the manifesto, he has come to Doimuk. And how are you uh, hoping to improve your numbers in the northeast, sir, specifically in the Lok Sabha elections? We are already having a, a great, uh, you know, record in northeast so far. In last election also, we won maximum seats, and um, some, maybe couple of seats more, we are likely to improve our tally. From the BJP national president to the chief minister of Arunachal, the whole party has come together to back its candidates. दिल्ली में वो अपना नॉर्थ ईस्ट का एक चेहरा है जो भी डिपार्टमेंट फ्रेंड जी को मोदी साहब जो एलिवेट करता है उसमें परफॉर्मेंस देते हुए वो देश के लिए काम करता है इवन एज अ लीडर्स एग्जिट आफ्टर अ फुल डे ऑफ कैंपेनिंग इट इज नाउ द ड्यूटी ऑफ द कार्यकर्ताज टू टेक द मैसेज ऑफ द पार्टी फॉरवर्ड मेरा नाम हिंगम ताचो यहां कैपिटल डिस्ट्रिक्ट का जिला प्रभारी हूँ ये अरुणाचल प्रदेश में अभी दोस्त तो आन कुंतेस हो गया भाजपा का और अभी पचास चुनाव में है तो पचास में फोर्टी फाइव तक तो हम लोग अभी भाजपा जीतेगा अभी पूरा कार्यकर्ता लो लगा हुआ है ये हरे प्रदेश भर में अरुणाचल प्रदेश में मोदी जी का जो काम काज को और पेमा कंदू का काम काज को पूरा समझ गया कि हर गांव में मोदी जी का नाम लेता है जिसे कि महिला लोग का गैस हो गया जिसे टॉयलेट बाथरूम हो गया जिसे अभी किसान लोग का किसान सामान नदी जो हो गया अभी जो हेल्थ इंश्योरेंस हो गया ये सब लेकर लेके पहाड़ इलाका में भी बहुत मोदी जी का नाम अभी चल रहा है और आने वाला काल भी चलेगा और कार्यकर्ता जोश में है सब उसी को नारा को ले संकल्प जो विकास का नारा लेके गांव गांव गाली गाली में घूम रहा है हमारा अरुणाचल का बीजेपी यूनिट जो है हम लोग पहले से तैयार है हमारा यहाँ बहुत सा जगह में ऑलमोस्ट ऑल 
हम कार्यकर्ता नॉर्मल कार्यकर्ता से लेके पन्ना प्रमुख तक का हम लोग का पूरा मूव करके रखा हुआ है तो हमारा कार्यकर्ता चुस्त होने के वजह से हमें कैंपिंग में इतना परेशानी अभी महसूस नहीं हो रहा है अरुणाचल प्रदेश में खासकर अभी अपना नरेंद्र मोदी का इसका दौर में है और पेमा गंडू जी का दौर में ऑल ग्रास रूट वर्कर्स आर कनेक्टेड टू बीजेपी और 100 परसेंट हमको उम्मीद है कि हमारा जितने भी 60 का 60 उम्मीदवार जीतेगा अपना बी से लेके प्रदेश का जितने भी पदाधिकारीगण जितने भी हैं 99 परसेंट कनेक्टेड है और अपना लोकसभा चाहे वो अपना किरण रिजिजू हो या तापिर हो हम लोग Dumping majority se jitayega. In the last two days that we have been in Arunachal Pradesh, we have not really seen any large hoardings or posters of any political leaders asking for the people's vote. In fact, the only hoardings that we saw were in the Doimok rally of the BJP today. At the same time, there have not been any major car rallies or mega road shows where thousands of people have gathered to express their support for any political party. What this indicates is that door-to-door -door campaigning actually speaking to the voter physically and letting them know what the plans of the party are could be the key to winning the vote in Arunachal Pradesh. As the campaign trail comes to an end, the BJP candidate for Arunachal West is spending his last hour with as many people as possible before he heads to neighbouring Assam. Well, the BJP has a plan in place, but the ultimate power lies with the voter. What are the issues that will decide who the voters of Arunachal Pradesh will support on the 19th of April? We leave the last word with the people. Really, because of Bajpai ka boot dene se, isle tana haliye to mumkin hai, Modi ji to mumkin hai, aur ye Kiran Rijuju ka mumkin hai, desh ka liye develop hoga, develop ka liye ham log acha soch ke. आम जनता पब्लिक लोग बोध को देंगे तना हाले को हम जिताएगा पेमा कांडे को पीर सेम बनाएंगे और मोदी सरकार तो जिंदाबाद है अभी इसलिए रूलिंग में जाएगा मैं क्लीन इलेक्शन होना चाहिए और उसके बाद क्या बोलेगा करप्शन नहीं होना चाहिए वही है स्पेशली अरुणाचल प्रदेश में अभी तो बहुत सारा डेवलपमेंट स्पेशली इन मैं समझता हूँ एजुकेशन सेक्टर में है तो जो भी हम लोग का कंस्टिट्यूएंसी से लीडर आएगा मेनली वो अगर एजुकेशन पे ध्यान देगा स्पेशली हम यूथ्स लोग के लिए अभी यहाँ बहुत प्रॉब्लम है एम्प्लॉयमेंट का प्रॉब्लम है जॉब्स नहीं आ रहा है दो तीन साल से फ्रॉड के कारण ये सब हो रहा है तो मैं समझता हूँ कि जो भी अभी लीडर आने वाला है वो उस चीज़ पर ध्यान दे और स्टेट को आगे बढ़ाए बाकी जो इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर डेवलपमेंट है वो वो हो रहा है उसको कंटिन्यूशन में ले जाइए और इस्पेशली इन एजुकेशन सेक्टर आई वुल से कि उस पर ध्यान देना चाहिए That's all for this road stop on NewsX. Keep watching for our continuous coverage of the 2024 general elections. This is Devika Chopra with cameraman Avinash Shukla reporting from Itanagar, Arunachal Pradesh.